Hi Dollar Divas, welcome to Behind the Vanity. I'm Jessica. So today's video is a four looks, one palette, and it is gonna be using the very new, or fairly new now, I'm always a little behind, but the new Elf and J Kissa collab palette. It's the To The Rescue palette, and if you don't know what it is, it is this beautiful rainbow palette that you have been seeing all over Instagram and all over everywhere. It's got the top row of really bright colors, the middle row of kind of muted, darker shades of the same colors, and then on the bottom you have glitters and shimmers and all that good stuff. So it is just the perfect rainbow palette. So I got this recently on my first visit back to Ulta in forever. Um, I will link that haul video down below in the description box. This is actually not one of the looks that is in the video today. This is actually a fifth look that I created and I did film a really short video for Instagram. I should have it up in the next day or two. And I am also featuring this palette in my current makeup basket. So I will link my entire Makeup Basket Monday playlist down below so you can watch those videos. And I'm also gonna be perfectly honest, a couple of the looks are inspiration from looks I've seen other YouTubers do. I think look number three, it's not an exact copy of her look, but it's it's inspired by, because I loved the color combination, from a YouTuber named Katie Marie. I think she did a three looks, one palette with this recently as well. And I will link her video down below in the description box as well, along with her channel. And then I did like a blue and purple look. I think it was look number one. And then look number four is like a yellow look. And those are kind of inspired by Jasmine here on YouTube. And she goes by Juicy Jazz here on YouTube. And I will have her channel as well as her. I think she's done two separate videos using this palette. So I'll have those linked below as well. So I really have just drawn some inspiration from other people because I've, I've really enjoyed watching other tutorials with this palette here on YouTube. So stay tuned if you want to see the four looks I created and how I got them. So look number one, I went into Sadie and I packed that into the crease and towards the outer lid. I used a kind of a compact, short bristled brush for this. Then I used a fluffier, clean brush and just kind of blended it a bit. Then I went into cannoli and I packed that into the inner part of the lid. I used that first brush that I used, it was cleaned off. Then I took that fluffy brush and blended the edges. Then I went into Bailey, I sprayed my brush and I packed that onto that blue. And I used kind of a really tight bristled brush, kind of one of those flat brushes. Then I went into Reagan with a similar brush, of course sprayed it because both of these colors are glitters and shimmers. And I packed that onto the middle part of the lid between the blue and the purple. Then I went back into Sadie with a tighter brush and I sprayed it to concentrate the color there on the outer part of the lid. Just wanted to make it a little bit more intense. Then I went into Thatcher with that same brush and just kind of packed that darker blue into the crease just a bit and blended it with a fluffy brush. I went back into Sadie with my liner brush and of course sprayed it and really tapped it off good to not make a mess under my eyes because I do have face makeup on and I lined under my eyes with that. Then I took Stilla Glitter and Glow in Opal Ice and I put that on the inner corner and then I just took a small tightly packed brush just to kind of blend the edges and spread it out a little bit. I also off camera lined my waterline with some black eyeliner. Look number two, I went into Yosemite with a big fluffy brush and really kind of concentrated that into the crease. Then I took Paloma, kind of a more mustard yellow with that same brush and really concentrated that into the crease and drug it down onto the lid. Then I went into Zuma with kind of a tight packed brush and really concentrated that into the crease. Then I blended that with a fluffy brush. Then I went into Millie and put that on there as well. Why, I don't know. <laughs> then I took Casey and really kind of packed it on towards the outer lid and I decided to spray my brush. I thought 
that would concentrate the color a little bit better. Then I blended the edges with a big fluffy brush. Then I took the color strawberry and I decided to go with my finger for this. I think I tried a brush and it wasn't going on very well. Then I went into the orange shimmer and tapped it on the middle part of the lid with my finger. It didn't go on quite as orange as I would have hoped. And then I took the sparkly yellow color and it went on like a dream. That color works really, really, really well. And just put it on the inner corner. Then with my liner brush, I took pepper, of course sprayed the brush and tap off any excess and I used that to line under my eyes. Then I took Firefly again on kind of a fluffier brush and kind of put it in the inner crease just a little bit. Then I took my Hard Candy liquid eyeliner pen and anchor and just did a little bit of a wing. And I also took some black liner for my waterline, added lashes and lips, and kind of got a fire look. Look number three. I actually started working on it before the camera was rolling. Yep, that's what I did. Is I took that bright green and went in with a big fluffy brush and put it kind of all over and into the crease. Then I took Tank, which is the darker green, and really concentrated it on the outer part of the eye. And then blended the edges with a big fluffy brush. Then I took Reagan on that flat brush, sprayed it of course, and put that on the inner part of my eyelid and into the corner. Then I took strawberry and again on my finger kind of put it onto the center of the lid. Then I took confetti on my liner brush, that's the sparkly purple, sprayed the brush and used that to line under my eyes. Then I took Stilla Glitter and Glow, and this is the color Lilac Ice, and I used that on my inner corner. And I must have forgot I was filming, and the mirror is covering my face, but I did the same thing I did in that other look. And there you go, kind of a weird color combination that I just love. So look number four, I took Yosemite on a big fluffy brush, and I put it all over my lid, into the crease. This is gonna be a very yellow look. Then I took Paloma, and I really concentrated it on into the crease. And then I blended the edges with a clean brush. Then I took Firefly on that flat brush again, of course sprayed it, and I put it towards the inside half of my lid. This color works amazing. This and the green work excellent. Then I took Paloma again, and concentrated it toward the outer half of my eye to kind of create more contrast between that sparkle. And then I took the liquid liner again to make a little bit of a wing. And then I lined the waterline with a pencil eyeliner. Coarse lashes and a neutral lip, and this looks like pink lemonade. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed watching me create these four looks and comment down in the comment section below which one or ones were your favorite. Also to comment and if you've done any looks with your Elf J Kissa palette, let me know down in the description box because I really am enjoying watching people's tutorials with this and I would love to check yours out. So definitely let me know if you've done a video with this in the description box below. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share this video with anyone you think Think will enjoy it and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel become one of my dollar divas and hit that bell notification so you don't miss an upload and definitely check out how I got this look over on my Instagram page again should have it up in the next day or two so be on the lookout for that thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye